What's up everybody, my name is Chance, and today we're going to be playing some Treasure Constructed. And I'm going to turn down the volume in my headphones a little bit because it's actually kind of blaring. So yeah, today we're going to be hopping into the brand new free event by MTG Arena, um, Treasure Constructed. So, I'm going to read off this little bit that's behind my head real quick so y'all can get a quick synopsis of what the game mode's like. And then we'll hop right into the deck we're going to be using and then right into the game. So, play... Con Play Treasure Constructed, win card style rewards. Um, in Treasure Constructed, at the beginning of each of your upkeep, you create an artifact treasure token, which you can sacrifice for a mana of any color. This event is also the first event on MTG Arena with card style rewards. You'll get the card style for Skewer the Critics at one or more wins, plus if you get to five wins, you'll receive the card style for Chemist's Insight. You can only receive each card style once, but it can be applied to all copies of the card in your collection. So, that's going to be our event. Now we'll hop into the deck we're going to be using. Um, I've chosen to go with the Hero of Mentors deck that we've we've crafted up. It's a very aggro deck. It's very quick. So I'm thinking that the treasure tokens will help us get it off um, even quicker. As well as, since we have the little treasure tokens that's going to be coming, we can sort of negate how bad our lands are so we can minus out three of those maybe minus out one of those because we'll have more in the way of splitting our land so yeah we're going to start with the deck tech and then you know we'll go into the game so kicking this off for those of you that haven't seen this deck it's uh it's basically just hero of precinct one plus boros mentor so we have three copies of the legions landing as it is a great creature spawner and uh comes in super cheap really easy to be able to attack with three creatures at once in this deck. Two copies of Sheltering Light, and this is really to throw your opponent off. Most people don't play this card, but it's essentially like a white mana dive down effect. Target creature gains indestructible until end of turn. Obviously this doesn't work against exile effects, um, but then you also get to scry one. So we have four copies of Hero of Precinct One, as you know her name's sort of in the title for the deck, so she should definitely hold her place as a four copy card. Moving us along, we have three copies of Sunhome Stalwart, just a solid first strike mentor, two mana card, two copies of Lava Cool to do to deal with uh, some of our more annoying opponents where we don't want the creatures to come back, maybe a wild growth walker, um, something along those lines. We have three copies of Boros Challenger, um, comes in for two mana, two three with mentor plus a pump effect, excellent card. Um, four copies of Justice Strike. Each time we play Justice Strike, we'll be uh, activating Hero Precinct 1, so it's really great as some removal as well as a token generator in this deck. One copy of Response Resurgency, and the main purpose for this, yes, Response is great if you just absolutely need that removal, but Resurgency is even better as people don't play around it. They don't play for it. They don't think about it. They don't think it's going to happen. Um, so it's a very, very sneaky way for you to win. And essentially what it does, creatures you control gain first strike and vigilance until end of turn. So you play it on your first main phase. After this main phase, there's an additional <coughs> um, combat phase followed by an additional main phase. So you get two combat phases in a turn, um, get to attack twice, and all your creatures are buffed. So it's just a, an all-around good card. We do have two copies of Swift Blade Vindicator. A card... Oh, I did not mean to do that. A card I actually want to see... Oh, they did not. I was going to say, if the card art for Swift Blade is out, I might actually just go ahead and pick it up because I really enjoy Swift Blade and I feel like the card art would be, uh, the card style art would be fantastic. Um, but nonetheless, Double Strike, Vigilance, Trample. Basically, it's it's the unit you want to be mentoring. If we had more copies, I definitely would be playing it. Um, but we don't, and the deck's been working fine without it. So, I, uh, I digress. We'll move on. We do have three copies of Mentor of the Meek to get us in some card draw for very cheap. We do have two copies of Legion Warboss to get us more units every single turn that can attack. Um, Definite Clarion to either clear the board or the second effect, which most people you know, don't really seem to mind or think about as much with Deafening, is the creatures you control gain lifelink, which is an excellent way to bring yourself back with this deck. Uh, we do have two copies of Tajik's Legion's Edge. Uh, fantastic card comes down with haste and mentor so more than likely it's going to be getting to mentor at least one unit um, you pay two mana and it gains first strike so it becomes a little bit harder to kill um, really good card uh, we have two copies of Aurelia Exemplar of Justice and by the way these two cards right here you can actually get in the Boros Guild Bundle right now if you want to pick it up in the store I think it's 3,000 gems 
So uh, yeah, I had a really hard time deciding between this and our Selesnya one, which is the one we went for. Also, if you guys want this free card sleeve as well as uh, five free uh, card styles, I believe there's a code you can use, and I'll look it up and put it in the description down below, so be sure to use that code. So we're going to be using our Selesnya one as it is the one that I paid for. Um, but moving us along, we have three copies of Heroic Reinforcements. Create two 1-1 one, one white soldiers. Um, until end of turn, creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and gain haste. So essentially, on the turn you play this, it spawns up uh, two two twos that are already attacking. So it also buffs all of your units, which is excellent. Then we have two copies of True Fire Captain, which is just, again, a solid mentor card. 4-3, but whenever True Fire Captain is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target players. So if they want to remove it, they're essentially going to be looking for a destroy or exile effect. And then uh, the land you guys just saw me cut down on, so that way we could uh, hopefully play this deck a bit quicker. So yeah, that's going to be the deck tech or the deck breakdown, and now we'll hop right into this treasure constructed event and choose our hero of the mentor's deck, and we'll get into a game one. Alrighty, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this, uh, this opponent's name, as I don't speak that language, I don't even read that language, so yeah. Um, Solid, solid hand here. I'm interested to see what what actually gets played with this. So we'll go ahead and throw down the sun home, and we'll probably be using our tokens every single turn. I also thought about making a rampage at the clan's deck and wiping tokens, like trying to build up tokens every single turn and then wiping them all, which seems like a pretty fun idea as well. Or maybe something like a smothering top top deck. Um, Unfortunately, I don't have any copies of that card, so I'd have to be picking up, you know, at least two or three. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm really excited for this event. It seems really cool, although the uh, the rewards are a one-time deal. It does still seem interesting. So there's our hero. I actually think I want to go with Legion War Boss instead. So this way they can either choose to kill my war boss or choose to kill the sun home which is about to mentor up the goblin if they have a shock effect or something along those lines. Maybe not, they may just be taking the four to the face which is excellent for us. Come next turn we can play a mentor or we can get down our hero. I kind of like the idea of the mentor as legion war boss is going to be spawning up a goblin every turn so or we could just go hero, save our token, play Aurelia on the next turn with our next token. That actually might be the play. Because we don't, I mean, card draw is nice, but as of right now, we have a pretty solid board. Okay, and we're up against Is It. There's a Guild Gate. So next turn, we're going to be able to play Aurelia no matter what. I still think we go Hero. Spawn up another token, because even still in the next turn, we're not going to have enough mana to pay for the Mentor if we would have played him this turn, so. Swing in right like so, we'll Mentor the 1-1 one, one Goblin, and probably deal 6 to the face. I don't see him wanting to trade the Gutter Snipe away just yet, yeah. Resolve. Kind of like the fact that we have a treasure token now because it means it'll pause everything at instant speed as if we had a spell on um, that cost one mana so it might scare him or scare them a little bit more i'm sorry still trying to get a little bit better at, um, at that also i've realized that the audio is kind of low um on my video so i'm gonna try and be doing some audio tweaking over the next couple videos if y'all could just leave a comment below and let me know you know what what y'all think um, that would be fantastic and I'd really appreciate it so he did get rid of our Legion war boss there but it's not too big of a deal as we got Aurelia coming down next turn which is gonna be huge 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 gonna give our Sun home plus two uh, give it vigilance it can mentor up one of the goblins mystic archaeologist probably isn't gonna be very long for this world safe to say Ooh, and we got a Legion's Landing. 
So we can actually play the Legion's Landing and Aurelia. And the reason we go ahead and play the Legion's Landing and we play the Aurelia prior to our combat phase, um, the Aurelia one gives us an effect. The Legion's Landing will be able to proc this turn. So we want to give that bonus to Sunhome. We want to swing in with both of our goblins, leave Hero back, or we could actually swing in and mentor up the Hero. How much damage are we doing? Yeah, actually I think we want to swing in and mentor the Hero. If they want to double trade for the Hero, that's perfectly fine for us. Because then that just means that we're dealing that much more damage to face, so... Oh, they're going down really low, all the way to one. We might have them here. We might just maybe. They gotta have a really good board wipe, and an is it? I don't know. I don't know of one. Sift. Okay, so that's probably gonna be a GG. They're probably gonna scoop it up here. Maybe. Alright, they're letting it go another turn. So this turn we're not going to uh, to play pre-combat. Okay, they're just going to scoop. Alright, so game one we will be picking up with our hero of the Mentors deck. Just working really fast, really efficiently. Right, we got the, the Sun Home Stalwart down on turn one, which is fantastic. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and hop into a game two here. Karan. Karan? Karan. Not quite sure, but uh, looks like we're going up against a Ral. Um, I'm interested to see what uh, what deck they're playing, considering they just also bought the the guild set. I like it. <laughs> oh, Gateway Plaza out the bat, huh? I'll see you, and I'll raise you a Sun Home. So yeah, what I was saying um, in the last video, I kind of got distracted. Y'all know that I oftentimes do, but I'm going to be making some adjustments on the audio, so let me know down in the comment sections like how it sounds, if it's good, if it's bad, if it's, you know, making do. So let's go with uh, pretty much the same combo we had last last game. Legion War Boss, Sun Home. Get the Goblin, attack with the Goblin, attack with Sun Home. Get in that damage. Um, going up against a, a gate deck does worry the hell out of me. Nice. I enjoy the card art. It's lovely. Yeah, and that's why. <laughs> right? The gate's ablaze. One of the most fearful um, of all the blazes. So we're going to throw down our Aurelia first. And here is why. I have to have some more removal. Hopefully they'll be a little bit more tempted to use it and then we have another Aurelia to back her up. Next turn we go Swift Blade, hopefully get to mentor him up a little bit. Him? Her? I can't tell. Their hand is covering where the, the breastplate would be. So Gatebreaker Ram. Well you know the interesting thing about this deck actually. So we could go Hero into Justice Strike. Or we can go Swift Blade into Justice Strike. And I think Swift Blade lets off more damage, right? And it's we're really worried about the gates of blaze, so let's go swift blade, justice strike, baba, rammy boy. Actually, 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 let's wait and play that at instant speed, right? That's the way we should do it. So Aurelia will get in. <coughs> excuse me. Aurelia will get in for four damages, which is uh, fantastic. And the great thing about the gates deck is they don't really have flyers, so. We will resolve, save our Justice Strike for instant speed. Secure this route. They're really stacking their treasure tokens, which is very worrisome, right? Oh yeah, because they can play a Gate Colossus this turn. All right, so we can go ahead and throw down the Justice Strike. Anything they would have played, they probably have already played. Take out the Gatebreaker Ram. Now on our next turn, do we want to give plus two? 
the Swift Blade and deal six, or do we want to give plus two to the Aurelia and mentor the Swift Blade? I think we want to just give two to the Swift Blade, right? Because that's immediate more damage. Um, and that's kind of what we're going for. We're, we're trying to rush them out with aggro. Oh, they got something cooked up here. Revitalize. Okay, wonderful. Um, I, as opposed to a lot of the other instant speed spells they could have had. So, uh, and then we'll go into a hero. I need a hero. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll end on that note. Uh, we have lethal on board for him come next turn. So, let's hope they don't have an answer. Like another Gates of Blaze, that would be bad. Maybe getting our hero down was a bit early. Clear the mind come down for our opponent that means their gates blaze that they already used is back in their deck and I feel like sometimes I get to talking too fast Ooh, should have saved the hero <laughs> then we could have played hero plus Aurelia uh, in the same turn which you know all is not lost we do have another Aurelia to try and win this this game out for us they're on a two-turn timer. What's the chances that they find another Gates of Blaze? Probably pretty good. It looks like they bought the Gate Bundle too, so that's uh, that's nice to see. Gift of Paradise going to be healing them up. Super unfortunate for us. This is uh, well, we're just trying to smash them down. Another Gift of Paradise. How lovely. We do have a Boros Challenger, but I think we want to go Mentor into the Boros Challenger so we can actually start getting some card draw. And we will sacrifice a treasure token for the Boros Challenger card draw effect. Hero of Precinct 1, excellent. Now we're going to put this on Aurelia as obviously she's the only one that can attack. Now what to do on our next turn? We can pump the challenger just with our land, makes them a three four and buff the mentor with the mentor. Or yeah, <laughs> buff the mentor with the mentor. I had it right. For some reason it sounded weird and I was like, that's that sentence can't be correct. But yeah, buff the mentor with mentor. And we have three three, that's six. And Aurelia, which deals enough damage. Okay, so they just have to not find an answer pretty much here. Ooh, okay, that's that's an answer. And I know some people will say, like, maybe you shouldn't be playing out your full hand onto the board, but if I don't, then I don't. I wouldn't have got the card draw, so playing down the Mentor pretty much would have been useless anyways. Sun Home and Hero. And we have to try to get something to stick. We're just going to go with Sun Home for right now, though. I think there is a time and a place to withhold your units, but I don't think that Aurelia time, that that was the specific time. We did get rid of another Gates Blaze, so they should only have two more in the deck. Given this is a standard uh, Gates smash. Uh, we were so close, too. That's probably going to be it for us, though, realistically. I don't think our deck can hold out too too much longer. Mm. Especially with awkward draws like that. So we'll probably give it one more turn. Um, but honestly, they're very far ahead. We can Lava Cool the Arcway Angel if we want to, but. Sometimes it's better to uh, save your cards just in case. Like if we draw into another Lava Cool, that's. That's a gate colossus, like permanently gone. So, and an arcway angel is is manageable with Aurelia. So, although both of our Aurelias are gone, huh? Yeah, we we probably do just lava cool the arcway angel. As much as I hate it, as much as I dislike the play, which of course uh, we're we're probably going to be done after this card draw sequence. I just want to see what we get in case there's a chance, there's a hope. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that is spicy. 
They're at 30 health, so it's not like we're close to killing them, but... Uh, heroic reinforcements is still very spicy. It's a whole lot of damage, so... Alright. All attack. Doesn't really matter who we give the buff to here. <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna say nice and more than likely GG. Um, Cause that was... That was pretty much our last big swing in. Choose up to five cards. Okay, so let's go one, two, three, one, two. <laughs> Gross spiral. I'm sorry, I know I said I was going to be done, but I, I just want to see if they actually... Okay, Gatebreaker Ram. All right. That, that's a reason to concede out, because there's... Unless we draw into a Justice Strike, sure, gets rid of the Gatebreaker Ram, but it makes no progress in like getting us towards a victory, so... The, the rest of that game would have just been us trying to survive what would have been eventual beatdown. So, game one, victory. Game two, loss. We'll go into a game three, the, the sort of tiebreaker for the video. So, stick with it. Martian 001... Gonna be our next opponent. Rocking the uh, Gibraltar. Is that it? Is that Gibraltar? I, there's so many video games with so many similar names that I feel like I might be taking that from Apex Legends. Uh, ex excuse me if I am. 100%. Uh, so I think turn one, we're actually gonna go with Boros Challenger first, and then Swiftblade turn two. Yeah. They're playing a red deck. Probably goblins, Boros Challenger, Swiftblade next. Or we could try and save up and go really big with the uh, Boros Challenger, Heroic, Swiftblade all in one turn, or maybe just Swiftblade, Heroic in one turn. We have Sunholm as well. Um, let's go ahead and get the Challenger down. We have another copy to replace them. Nothing for one mana can kill our challenger, so if they have a shock, it's not gonna work. They haven't dealt one damage to us yet this turn, so they can't do skewer. Um, now, of course, if they have a lightning strike or something along those lines, they can... Goblin Gathering, okay, interesting, interesting. Now this turn, I think we save our treasure token, and we just play the swift blade and then next turn we can play heroic reinforcements please don't have a shock please don't have that card that card right there that you just played oh well um uh, there's no point in attacking we we swing in he takes the two he can swing back at us for three it just seems kind of pointless Legion War Boss. That card will be getting Justice Struck, Justice Striked, whatever. <laughs> it's it's gonna die. That's the important thing. Oh, if he has another Shock, that could be our Challenger dead. Which honestly, not that bad. Okay, no. This is an Aurelia, which we can play this turn, but I think I'm just gonna go with Justice Strike. On the war boss, that's for sure happening. And we're up to what? Five mana. We'll get six next turn. Maybe we don't play anything this turn. Here's my thinking. Next turn we play something like Sun Home or maybe Boros Challenger. Uh Probably sent home. And then we play Heroic Reinforcements, right? So all of our units get haste. All of them are a little bit better. Fanatical. You know, his goblins are still kind of lacking a punch to really make me fearful of them. Experimental Frenzy is a little scary, um, but it can also backfire in their face. So we'll have to see. If they have a shock plus the Fanatical, they can take out my Challenger, which could be, be detrimental to my original plan.
We'll, we'll have to see. Martians taking their time, taking their sweet time, thinking it over, mulling, mulling what they can in their mind. Oh, and we got our own Legion War boss. <laughs> okay, so I kind of still like the idea of going, going all in with Sun Home plus Heroic, and then next turn going Aurelia. I feel like that is a uh, very solid, aggressive play. Of course, we're at what six mana now. Pay one, we'll be down to five. Next turn, we'll be back up to six. Nah, let's stick with it. No need in going back and forth and all the logistics of it. So let's get our heroic reinforcements down. While they're out of mana, they sure they can use a, a shock, but hopefully we don't see that. All right, so we're swinging him with four three threes, and he has four one ones. So I'm feeling pretty confident about it. The Sun Home can't really be blocked out very well. He's going to take the 12 damage to the face. Um, fan-fucking-tastic. <laughs> yes, very nice. And then when we play the Aurelia, we're probably going to give the buff to the Boros Challenger, as it'll give the Challenger Trample plus Vigilance, um, which is just huge, right? Makes him a 4-3, so he can also buff the Stalwart. Ooh, another copy of Warboss. What do you have? Oh, another copy of Goblin Gathering. So he's getting up. He's getting up a big field. Um, hmm. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't mind getting a Deafening Clarion, actually. All right, Guild Gate. I suppose that's okay as well. That'll give us the, enough mana to play Legion War Boss plus Challenger come next turn. Um, so yeah, let's just go with Aurelia here. Sorry, I'll quit tapping my fingers. I know that's probably annoying for uh, some of you. Got a message, let me make sure it's not my girlfriend. Uh, so we'll give that to the challenger, as I said. Oh. Okay. Swing in with the challenger, sent home, and probably both of the tutus as well. And how we'll do this, order triggers. We want this to trigger first, right? So then we can mentor him and then he can mentor someone else. So mentor him. And then he, he, he mentors. No? Maybe I should have done it the other way. Magic's, magic ordering always confuses the fuck out of me. Okay, so they they gotta have an answer for Aurelia then, right? They left themselves at two health. That doesn't make much sense. <clears throat> Maybe they already have an answer for Aurelia. Well, Skirt Pros, Prospector isn't that. They have a whole lot of mana in the way of Skirt Pro Prospector plus their their goblins, but what are they using that mana for? A Banefire, maybe? What do they have? Sacrifice a goblin, add one mana. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Twelve, thirteen. Okay, so they have enough for a Banefire to my face, actually. That would be really embarrassing. It'd also be a very nice play to see work, right? Goblin Banefire combo. Let's see. Good game. All right, so we'll, we'll return the good game. They'll swing in. Kill the war boss, kill the firebrand. I guess we let the rest of the damage rod. You know they could still kill us here, actually, because they can still activate the Skirk Prospector. Nope. Okay. I was going to say, if they just have a few more burn spells, they have the mana on board to do it. Wow, that Goblin deck could actually be very, very scary. 
depending. So yeah, we'll go up to two and one with our Hero of the Mentors deck in this treasure constructed event. And uh, we're probably just going to call the video here. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below and a comment in the comment section if you have any suggestions for this deck, future decks, past decks, or uh, any deck you want me to try out in the event, or uh, just your thoughts on the new card styles, because I've been, personally, I've been enjoying the hell out of them. Uh, people that watch my videos, you'll probably know that I've been fanboying a hell of a lot over these, uh, these card styles and the sleeves and everything, just because I really enjoy it. I think they're really awesome, and I think it... Uh, it adds more color to the game, more variety, instead of just like, oh, it's another opponent with uh, the same same thing every time, you know? So, uh, yeah, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Um, it's free, it helps the channel. We're trying to get to 1,000 um, before the end of April, you know, if, if at all possible. I would love to. We're at 7.02, I think, right now, which is fantastic. Um, you know, I get to talking to my girlfriend and she's like, could you imagine like standing in front of 700 people and just talking? And I'm like, eh, not really, but at the same time, it doesn't, like, it doesn't worry me to sit right here and commentate and act a fool and just, just do whatever, you know, be myself. So thanks everybody for watching. Thanks everybody so far for supporting the channel as much as y'all all have. Uh, I appreciate the hell out of it and yeah, we'll, we'll keep going. So until later tonight or tomorrow, depending on if I stream tonight or get another video up or whatever, um, yeah, I'll see y'all. Peace. What's up, everybody? I want to take a quick second to thank everybody who stayed all the way through the video as well as give a special shout out to all my patron donors for helping support the channel. If you too are looking for ways to support the channel, consider hopping over to patreon.com forward slash Dr. Spelkin. Try to make sure all support given to the channel is returned to those giving.